In this exercise, we will perform a linear stress analysis of a composite laminate panel. The steps performed in this video are Import a FEMAP neutral file with geometry edits for meshing attributes already applied Create layups for the model Create properties for the layups Mesh the geometry Assign material directions to the mesh Apply loads to the panel Analyze the panel and review results Let's import the FEMAP neutral file Go to File, Import, select FEMAP Neutral. Select the Neutral file and click Open. In the Neutral file Read Options dialog box, click OK. The FEMAP model should appear as displayed on the screen. Let's create a new 2D orthotopic material using a prepaid fabric. Using the model info pane, right click on the material objects and select new. In the create material dialog box, click the type button and select orthotopic 2D in the material type dialog box. Click OK to confirm your selection. Click the load button in the defined material dialog box. Select the material Carbon Epoxy Fabric in the Select From Library dialog box and then click OK. Click OK to complete creating the material. Create a layer for the standard thickness of the fitting. Right click on the layer object in the model info pane and select New. In the layer editor dialog box, select the title to standard layer. Select the material Carbon Epoxy Fabric. Set the thickness to 0.5 and the angle to 0 degrees. Click the New Ply button. For the next ply, set the angle to 45 degrees and then click the New Ply button. Continue creating another ply by setting the angle to 0 degrees. To duplicate plies 2 and 3, select ply 2 in the Layup Editor dialog box. While holding the Shift key, select ply 3. Click the duplicate button. To create symmetric of the layup, select ply 1 by holding the shift key, select ply 5 and click the symmetric button. Click OK to complete editing the layup. Right click on the properties object in the model info pane and select new from the menu. In the defined properties dialog box, click the new element or property type button. In the Element of Property Type dialog box, select Laminate, then click OK to change the Defined Property dialog box to Laminate Element Type. Set the title to Standard Laminate. Set the Layup to Standard Layup. Set the Bond Shear Allow to 75. Set the Failure Theory to Sai Wu, then click OK to create the Laminate property. Go to Mesh, Geometry, Surface, click on Select All button and click OK. In Auto Mesh dialog box, select Laminate Property and click OK. Now our mesh has been created. Since the model is dealing with orthotropic materials, proper material direction should be assigned. Otherwise, the material direction is assumed to be aligned with the global x-axis. Select the command, modify, update elements, material orientation. In the entity selection dialog box, click select all and then click ok. In the material orientation angle dialog box, select the following. Set angle using coordinate axis as y. Select the coordinate system 0 basic rectangular. Click OK to assign the material orientation. Display material angle. Open the view options dialog box by pressing the F6 hotkey. In the view options dialog box, set the categories to labels, entities, 
and color select the options element material direction in the color mode use the view color and set the view color as black check show material direction option click ok to apply the changes In the model info pane, right click the constraint object and select new. In the new constraint set dialog box, enter the title as constraints and then click ok to create the constraint set. Expand the newly created constraint set and right click the constraint definitions object and select on curve from the menu. Select the existing group boundaries and click on the move button and click ok set the type to fixed and click ok to create the constraint in the model info pane right click the loads object and select new in the new load set dialog box enter the 100 newton load and then click ok to create the load set expand the newly created load set and right click the load definitions object and select on surface from the menu select the pads on the surface and then click ok in the create loads on surface dialog box set the title to 500 newton load Set the type to force. Set the offset to minus 100. Click OK to create the load. In the model info pane, right click the analysis object and select new from the menu. In the analysis set manager dialog box, click the new button. In the analysis set dialog box, set the title to linear statics. Set the analysis program nx nastran set the analysis type to static click ok to create the analysis set click on the analyze button this has completed close the nx nastran analysis monitor pane to display one my stress contours open the post processing toolbox set the contour style to contour the output set should default to the new results and set the output vector to laminate ply 1 1 mice stress. Select output vector as laminate max failure index and then click OK to update the graphics pane to view the maximum failure index. You can see in front of your screen the maximum failure index. Thank you for watching our video. For any questions or any queries, please feel free to contact us. Thank you.